All right, welcome back everyone. We are on episode 13 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. So we're back here at home. We mostly cleared out our inventory, so we're, we're looking pretty good in that respect. Our carry weight's uh, 230 out of 300, so we're doing good. We have our new dragon bone hunting knife, right? Oh, we still have to sell the old hunting knife if we get around to it, right? And in this episode, we're trying to figure out what to do. I, I stored all of our soul gems because they were just kind of taking up extra carry weight. We weren't refilling with them, so I put them all downstairs. And I believe in this episode, we are going to investigate what the vampires were seeking. So this is part of the Dawn Guard quest line. So we are going to jump right down into there and uh, Eric is going to be able to use his totally awesome, amazing Dawnbreaker sword let me do a quick double check here. We have one perk point, and I don't think we can get any more training on this level. I'll double check that, but I the reason I double checked, or I was looking into that, is because if we wanted to increase or hone his sword, that would require us to not only get arcane craftsmanship, but also, oops, the perk, let's fly across everything here. The perk right here for Daedric Smithing. So, at least I think so. Why don't we try? Let's let's see if I'm wrong, right? We're gonna put a perk into arcane craftsmanship, and let's see if we can hone his weapon right it now. Just feels right it. somehow. No problem. How can I help? Eric, please give me. Here, why don't we take everything that we have here, all all of these different items, and uh, let me know if you need. We'll buff all of them. This is how we'll start our ah our episode today. So that would be, I think it's a silver bar that we need to buff. And then, let's see, we got the uh, the hunting axe, right? Or the poacher's axe, and then the iron pickaxe. So two, two other iron here, right? Because we can hone things 50% better for all material types, so. Well, uh, that, that's a little bit better. That's pretty good, but, eh. So the poacher, oh my goodness, look at the poacher's axe, how much we can boost it with. We don't even use it for combat, so sure, why not, right? And then an iron pickaxe, like, supercharge it. Supercharge. Oh, so I don't know, I, I think this is the correct perk that allows us to do this, right? Look at that. Increased its base value by something... I think that was around First like 35 effort, damage. Point. So I'll be sure to put it to good that, use. You know that that was an increase of quite a bit, decent amount. So there you go, Eric. There's your new and improved Dawnbreaker. You know what? Let's we weren't even then. wearing our buffed outfit, were we? So what we'll do is we're we're gonna put on our outfit. We'll hone it a little bit better. And then we're gonna run over to Vilkis and we'll turn in that part of the class. So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, there he is. So just just to show everyone, just feels right. Some. What do you want? What me to Eric's uh, weapon is now. We we got it to 144. So and that doesn't include the fact that he probably has perks that increases it even more. So it started at 95, now it's 144. So that's a buff of 50 damage. It's basically an increase of 50 percent, which is pretty. Freaking awesome! If there's right? any way I can be of That's, service, uh, he's he's now me. doing. He only has to do two swings for the damage of what what used to take three. So, very excellent. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Yeah, I rested Gunding. Also, by the way, I'm eating vegetables tonight as my as my snack of choice. So I hear, you brought honor to the companions, and yourself. Eight hundred gold, not bad. Hmm. What we'll do? All right then. Let's do a quick save, and we'll see what his next quest is. What brings one of the guards from Dragon's Reach came to me, worried about a prisoner who's escaped. The Jarl has too much on his mind right now. We won't be troubling him with this. At this point, they don't care what happens to him, and neither do I. Best to just kill him. And be done with it. Mm, 
Okay, do we know? Be careful. This man is known to be dangerous. Do we know where he is, though? Until next like, time. Do we have any idea of where he might be? Is he literally, like, just outside of town? What do you think? What do you think, chat? Should we go hunt him? Let's go hunt a criminal. Let's do it. Hunting a criminal, yeah! Ow, yeah. ow. Okay. <laughs> Let's... Blood going down our nose. Let's go find him! Like, what, what the... I... Is it... Oh my god, it's this guy. You there, C criminal? This better be good. <laughs> Can you make me blood kin? Trust like that is not freely given. Uh, there's so there's no way that we can like arrest them, huh? They're just kind of need something. Well, let's bait them into attacking us. How about that? Um, this what you want, huh? Get him. You're mine. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well. Hey, Boy, nice. We got a level up out of it, though. So, all right. Killed the escaped criminal. Got to take some of their stuff here. They had a decent amount of stuff, considering they're an escaped criminal. But kind of clear the road a little bit. All right, perfect. So, yeah, that was a, a super easy quest. Where did my horse go? So we'll turn that in. And then we will head up here to, to see what the vampires are after. Now, keep, keep in mind, I have not done the Dawn Guard questline, right? So this, like, this is the extent to which I have done that quest. What monster? There it is. All right, we're back. It took like an hour. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Yeah, it won't be a problem Except anymore, if you know what I mean. Bit by bit, we bring honor to this land. And you've brought honor to the companions. More importantly, some gold. Air gold? Nice. Until next time. We'll see if we can pick up one more quest from him. What brings you to me? Aeolus laid claim to your services, and I've learned a hard way not to upset her. Best you stick to her for now. Oh! You have to talk to Ayla. Up. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. I'm looking for work? And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlac's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Oh. Blood's honor. Okay, I guess we have a change of plans today, right? Codlac's usually down here in his quarters. Carrot. Mm. Broiled carrot. I think he's here. Yeah, here he is. Hey, bro. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. Mm, okay. I hear you've been busy of late. Um. I. I work for the honor of the companions. Lad, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. But this sneaking around, it does not befit warriors of your standing. Aella knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Um... Skor said it was a blessing from her scene. Vilka said it was a curse laid upon the ancient companions. Skor did say it was a blessing. We know that, right? Like, he, he said as much. Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what's the truth? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. 
This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. Mm. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Moral Coven. If oh. the companions would hunt in the name of their lord Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Hmm. Um, the witches should be hunted down for their trickery. That sounds something exactly like John and Eric would say. We'll get to that. Nice. It's not so simple as just killing them, though. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Ah, yeah, Upon the, death, the gaps, werewolves right? are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there any way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Um... It, it shall be Good. done. Now move quickly, and don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. All right. Sounds sounds like a party. Woo! I'm gonna go kill some witches. Eric, you ready to kill some witches? I mean, well, we now we get to choose between killing vampires or killing witches. Uh, where exactly are they? So, collect a head or wipe them all out. I like the idea of wiping them out. That sounds like a... Ooh, it's on the other side of the map. Hmm. Well, technically you're doing two quests instead of just doing one quest. So I think that that makes... You know, it's pretty logical on which one we're going to take here. Right? <laughs> so we'll, we'll head on down. It looks like... Oh, my goodness. Uh, looks like the path might be a little bit tricky heading through down there. But... We respect Codlac a lot, right? We're we are true Nords. We we literally wear Nordic armor, being true Nords. And so we respect Codlac's opinion. He's a smart guy, right? So we're we're gonna go kill some witches for him. That's the plan. What do we do though? I don't have something has shifted oh. in the moons, brother. You had something to say? What is it? I've sensed the blood pulsing a little stronger of late. I had assumed you had as well. I think our potential is on the rise. Hercene smiles on us. Let's not question too much. The more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts of Hercene. Oh, so... Now that's interesting. I mean, that's something to keep I'll in mind. I'll show you what I know. Uh, and yeah, we, we've maxed out our All right, then. our training for this level. So that is a little bit more complicated, right? Where before we were like, oh, definitely, you know, we want to be true Nords. But we're being enticed and she doesn't know what, what God said, right? So, hmm. The belief that we could get even more powerful as werewolves. That's interesting. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll continue our way down there, right? What? You okay, bro? Yeah, must have must have jammed his thumb in the door or something. All right, let's let's go. All right. Okay. Have our silver great sword up. Glenmoral Cave, huh? We can take these out. Anything else? Goat horns. Let's, uh, our carry weight's a little bit high right now. Let's see what we can store here. Oh, yeah, these. Let's expose. 
And then all the orcish arrows that we don't need. And I think that should be good. All the cloaks too. Right? Make sure nothing's gonna put us into combat out here. Just do a quick look around. Oh, it's spooky. Trees are beautiful here. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, Eric. Eric's got style. We had to save. I. That must have been sarcasm. Oh, Eric, you and your sarcasm. So we'll have that. We'll do one of these. So we have our buffs up. I like. I have absolutely no idea how strong these witches are going to be. So we're also going to use one of these, right? Excellent. So, we are buffed. Eric's got his his orcish blood cover Dawnbreaker. Oh, it's starting to rain. All right, I guess it's a good time as any to go inside. Oh, um. I think what we're gonna do is... Oh, I, I dropped off my helmet onto the horse, that's right. So we're wearing uh, the, the helm of Clavicus Vile there as we go into combat. That should be fine. I don't think I like where this is going. Eh. Oh, okay. I got, j just to start off, we get some loot. Not bad. Unexpected. But not unappreciated. Uh, reasonable amount of gold. Here's spiders. Oh! Someone there. Ah! <laughs> Over here. So Eric's now trapped behind there. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh my goodness, okay. Let's just rush it. Yeah! Alright, we're poisoned. What? What in the hell? Alright, take out this- oh my god, that is a big spider. That is a big spider. Alright. Well, that wasn't too... <laughs> big spider. Is that lantern on? Yeah. Oh, so, potion should wear off in just a moment. Good lord. Harvest some venom out of it. That is a big spider. Just get rid of that. Go back over to her, because this seems to bug out. But we can still extract everything. One giant's toe. Here's her head. And we can just kind of rip off her body. Hagraven claw, and then three feathers. Nice. Up. Oh, look. Her head. Yeah, we took her head. So, we got one of them. Um, <laughs> Eric, excellent job. Oh, Eric's poisoned, too. We're both poisoned. It just feels right somehow. Eric, do you have any sure to put it to good use. healing potions? He doesn't. He has a bunch of ingredients that we forgot on him, though. Which, you know, isn't too good. Let me know if there's anything else you need. So we sensed one of them was through here, so I say we rush him. Oh, how do we get up there? <laughs> well, we took a fireball to the face. This is mostly because we went up the wrong way. But we killed her. There's her head. Oh! Good lord, they are spooky. Bird's egg? Briar hearts? Uh. Suspicious eggs? Th thank you. Yeah, we'll take some more cacheros. Nice. Alright. One more down. My health's a little down too, but that's all right. We can uh, throw some decent potions at that. 
Eric, what's your health at? How you doing? Hey, be careful. I needed to check your health. Let me fix that for you. See? Easy peasy. Much better. Alright. So we might have to use our map a little bit just to find where they all are. But we're right now we're doing the lower caves. Hello! Oh, oh god, we're stuck! How do we get out? <laughs> All right, that was a, a little less elegant there, but but we did it. Killed her. Expert combatant, right? True grace and elegance. As one would expect from a warrior of our stature. I don't think there's any other loot in here, unless, what was that? Oh, I thought it was a chest. No. Nope. Nothing down there but disappointment. Oh. That's sweet. So we'll... Well, let's take some of our crude healing potions here, because we're not really in combat. So. Do a little bit of casual healing. Let's see. Now that we're back up top here, I guess we can go down this way. What could possibly go wrong? I'm waiting for, like, runes to be on the ground. That just totally F us up. More spiders. Why is it always spiders? All right, so we can rush the the Glenmore Witch, or we can take out the spider. I say we go for the witch because she can shoot fireballs. They're kind of more of a pain in the ass. Let's do it! Yeah! Yeah! All right, get the spider! Spider! Yeah. All right. And that is how we do it. Looks like Eric's stunned. But he's in good health. But he's poisoned, so that's okay. There we go. See, he's getting back up. He's fine. Get rid of that thing. <laughs> Very nice. That's what we got. Some bowls. Ooh, lots of uh, slaughter fish, right? Looks like it was dinner. Oh, boss chest. We'll take that in just a moment. Let's focus on her. Nice. Sapphire glitter dust. Shrine of her scene. Wow. Pretty cool to find one of those. What else we got? A destruction skill book. Interesting. More slaughter fish stuff. Take a couple of those. Thank you. Anything in these? Honeycomb, love it. Snowberries, love it. And for the grand finale. Oh, all right, we got a copper diamond circlet. Some robes, flawless aquamarine. Uh, we're not really collecting these anymore, so we'll just leave it, but um, that's pretty good. Scroll of fire rune. A couple of soul gems, a book, a staff. Nice, very nice. I am pleased. I am pleased. I don't think there's any other loot down there. Which is I love jumping into the water and then struggling to, to make our way out. Oh, oh, look at these. Nice. Gotta keep an eye out for things like that, right? Tap roots are kind of difficult to get. I mean, they're, they're not exactly, well, they're not growing on trees, but um, get it, because they're sentient plant monsters. Anyway, we, <laughs> we will see how many we have left. There's probably only one more. I'm expecting there to be one. I 
saw something. I'm expecting there to be one more. I hear a troll. Alright, let's go for the witch, though. You ready? Why do they suspend them in nets? I think they have to do with being traps. Critical hit, nice. It's a shame that was necessary. And there we go, we've wiped them out. Optional quest has been complete. Wow, greater soul gem. That's impressive. <laughs> I think they're either trophies or they're used as like wards to keep certain spirits away or something like that. Careful, Eric. Goodness. This is an enchanting skill book. Hey, look at that. Enchanting level up. Nice. I I do kind of try and take a look and see how many... Uh, my, like, what I'm more concerned about is my view to light ratio. Rise up, rise what? Up. Whoa! He's told the problem anymore. Finally had the nerve to attack your vassal. We got the silver hand. He finally had the nerve to attack your vasker. We got the silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack okay. your vasker. We got most of them. But I think a few stragglers made it out. So that's what it was. That's why people were under attack. These two aren't a problem anymore. Good lord. Holy crap, right? Oh, not a problem anymore. So they, they attacked in town. We were running around, had no idea. I'm gonna take their apple pie. The silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack uh, your Let's see, let's, let's look around back, right? I guess. I don't know. Are the puppies okay? We got one puppy. My goodness. Attack in the city? Where have you been? I... I was <laughs> thanks Eric I was doing Codlack's bidding I hope it was important because it means you weren't here to defend him the silver hand they finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker we fought them off but the old man Codlack he's dead no was anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief cap. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak, and they will know terror before the end. All right. I say we do it in this episode too. We're going to avenge Codlack. And to do that, we're going to wear a proper avenging hat. This was claimed by Justin. Thank you very much for this channel point redemption. Let's do it. All right, so they, oh my, oh my good Lord. They're freaking dead bodies everywhere. Oh, oh no, it's Codlack! No! Oh. Damn. That's so sad. No, Eric, Eric, don't step on him. Good lord. Yeah, it's sad. All right. So, let's see. Retrieve the fragments and, you know, optional. Wipe out the silver hand, huh? So where are they located? Like, I... I kind of thought that... We, uh... We'd already wiped them out, but apparently we had not, right? But where are they? It's not, like, navigating to... Where they are on the map. Okay, so here they are. They're up in Driftshade Refuge. So we'll take the carriage to Dawnstar and then we'll ride from there. It'll be a little bit faster. All right, let's get going. All right, I think, think that's it right over there. Yeah, that's looking like it. 
Driftshade Refuge. So we've been joined by Vilkus here. Oh, let's put our weapon up, right? Our nice Skyforge steel weapon. Matching Codlax. So we're gonna go in there for the honor of the companions with our silly butterfly hat. And beat the crap out of them. Oh! What was that? Yeah! Oh. I've been poisoned? Anyone else, or is that it? Songs of the Return, Silver Swords. Look at these! Wow. Glad they didn't hit us with one of those. Let's do this! Guys, ready? Oh, crap! Oh, that was pretty easy. Huh. <laughs> I mean, they, they knocked me on my butt. But... Cure disease, bunch of silver, Nordic's always good. Very nice. Full steel plate. Let himself get surrounded. Death bell. Some other junk. Hmm. God, they uh, they really are just like a group of bandits, huh? Burned books. Disheveled. It's definitely worth taking these guys out. Won't budge, so that's our exit. Anything else back over here? No, I don't believe so. So we're headed in the right direction. Let's see what we got. Oh, soul gem. Yep, this way. Is someone there? Is someone there? For it. Disgrace for your own kind. Not the best you can do. Thanks for your help, Eric. Goodness. <laughs> well, they got. To the cellar. All right, watch my back. Oh, straight up, nice. Is that it? Yeah. What we got? Some gold. Love it. Anything good there? Yeah, some paper, but we'll take the wheat. Is someone there? Time to end the game. Come on. Ah! The wow. That was a hard hit. Silver ingot, nice. What was that? A, a Dwarmer salvaged. Wow. Its so weight to value is pretty good, but I guess it's you know about the same as steel stuff. So. <laughs> Look at all the... Oh, they're all empty, though. Just food, right? <gasps> no, 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 don't! Don't freaking step on that! Oh my god, it's a spike trap! I knew there were traps down here. Found a werewolf. We're gonna harvest the ingredients out of them, just because, unfortunately, we really need it. <laughs> So it, it passes about 30 minutes, right? Human flesh, canine teeth, werewolf eyes. A heart. Any of these new that we don't know? 
No, we, we know all of it. And then a small animal bone. We'll pick the lock, though. I guess they must have uh, heard that somebody was coming to rescue them, so they slaughtered all of them, right? Nice. Okay, good. He navigated around it. It was just like, ah! Lots of extra armor. But they won't have time to grab now that we're coming. Hmm. Anything else here? Just firewood. Huh? What was that? Ah! You victory ah! Woo! Oh, heads up. Piece of cake. I think I heard someone else coming, but I'm not sure. More silver, Nordic. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck that one up a little bit. Here. What do they have, first of all? Nice full steel plate. We're not gonna take any of it. But we will do the rights for them. Do you think Tiber Septum ever fought here? That's a good question, Eric. Guess we'll never know. I think it's human flesh and then something else. Oh, look at you. Oh. There we go. It's considered. More wine. Blah, blah, blah. What's this? Another werewolf? We'll draw their blood, but like I said, we don't really have time for uh, harvesting all of the ingredients right now. I thought that was a trip line. I was like... What is that? You heard him. Ah! Get him! Piece of cake. Some more plate. And then... Like trap chitin. Lots of silver and Nordic arrows. Oh, crap. First, I thought I'd lisp. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Here, Eric, want some new arrows? Here's <laughs> a hundred of them. When did we get two silver greatswords? Oh no, oh no, excellent. Look, he's still gonna use Dawnbreaker. Let me know if you need anything. Glad he was smart enough to make that decision. Well, sometimes he isn't, so it's like, it's just the way the game mechanics work. What is that? What am I looking at here? That was kind of weird. All right. Y'all ready? This might be a tough battle. There's someone there? Over here. Ah. So much for a tough battle. Goodness. I'm wondering if this was their leader. Perform rights on this fellow. I wonder what great battle. What Vilkus's level is? Kind of unfortunate. Oh, no, no, no. Me like a I wanted uh, this person here. Cure disease, nice. More arrows. Take it. So we'll. I guess we'll we'll take all the uh, the shards of Uthrad, right? Oh, is that how big this is? Oh, this is a one handed book. Like that. I had no idea that this is how big this was. There's our fragments. Anything else kicking around here? Some gold. Here's a block book that I guess we hadn't read yet. Good to get one of those. Anything in here? No. 
Excellent. So we found the missing shards. Looks like there's a very excellent loot chest right here. I'm just looking around before. Well, we got Elven Sword. Sure, we'll take it. Flammable oil. We can turn this into tinder. Mm, some potions, 100 gold. And that's fine. And then some soul gems. Yeah, I'm not complaining. We'll take it. And I do believe... Oh, careful. Don't, don't let the door hit you on the way out, Eric. My goodness. That is it. I don't believe we're gonna go back through and loot all of the steel plate. We, uh, we really do have enough gold, as it is. So, we'll, uh, we'll just head out. Lead on. Up and out. And I think what we'll do, we'll step outside, because I don't know if anything's gonna happen once we step outside. Just wanna make sure. Right? It's about 11.30. So it's late at night. And I believe what we're going to do is we're going to ride back to Dawnstar, and then we are going to take the carriage back to Whiterun. And we're going to do that tonight. We're not going to camp out. We're going to do it um, basically tonight. So we'll do that right now. So as we head up on this dark and stormy night that it's become, following Vilka's back, up to the Sky Forge where they've prepared the burial for Kaldla. Or the funeral rites. Who would stop? Kaldur. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. At this loss, we weep. We weep. For the fallen, we, we shout. shout. And for ourselves, we, we take, take our, our leave. Eric, no, no, Eric. <laughs> His spirit is departed. Members of the circle. Let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Um, I return them with honor. Don't get too flowery on me, lad. <laughs> of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. Uh, I guess I'll have I to. I appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Mm hmm Yeah, probably in his nightstand. Thank you. There's one fragment of Wuthrad. Looks like the, uh, I, I don't know, the very top? Looks like he had a journal, too. We'll take a look at that later. Oh, he must be headed home automatically. You're back. Uh, I have the fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Hmm. All right, we'll see what the circle has to say. He didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being Moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Lucas. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. 
Godlad used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? On its back. This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother here. The flames of Kirok can be forged oh. to shatter. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthran, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthran into battle. Man. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. All right. Well then. Looks like they're taking the fun way out. Uh, we are probably going to get some sleep, is what we're going to do. However, we will equip Wuthrad in our hands. Oh my goodness, look look at this sword. Or, is it an axe? I guess it's technically an axe, right? Look at that axe. That axe. Wounds inflicted by Wuthrad are especially deadly to elves. 330 damage. Just to put it into perspective, our super honed Skyforge Steel Greatsword does 325. And we honed the crap out of this, like to its max potential. And this thing has a base of 330. So that is very impressive. What we're gonna do is we are going to head to Isgrimor's tomb way up by Winterhold, up in there. So we're going to meet all of them there, and we are going to avenge Kodlak and cure and purify his spirit, even in death. So I will, we will be doing that in the next episode, so I will see you there.